buffalo exchange and as you can see I'm leaving out with a pretty sizable bag uh, they didn't take they didn't want most of my drip I mean I'm kidding it's not really drip my, my wardrobe is kind of whack but um yeah I was just trying to get rid of stuff anyway but I think I think they broke me off a little bit I'm not gonna tell y'all how much I should have showed like what I was taking there beforehand so you could see and be like oh okay that that should be this much and then you could see the comparison of how much I really got but uh now I'm gonna go find a goodwill I think there's a goodwill around here somewhere and then uh yeah I'm gonna just donate the rest of the stuff I probably shouldn't do this right by the construction but oh well but I'm going to Atlanta tomorrow like moving to Atlanta so like four years ago when I left for LA um, I packed one duffel bag and bought a one-way ticket and that's all the stuff that I had in LA I left everything that I had in Georgia after two years in LA I slowly started accumulating more things and then it was time to move to New York so when I moved from LA to New York I sold all my stuff again took stuff to Goodwill so I could travel light and not have to worry about moving a whole bunch of bags or sending boxes and stuff like that to New York to get to New York and then that's you do the same thing slowly accumulate more more and more stuff and now I'm about to leave New York so took all my stuff to Buffalo Exchange try to sell it take the stuff that they won't buy to the Goodwill just to get rid of it start all over again it's refreshing you, you don't realize sometimes you get attached to like things and you're like oh I should keep it I don't know what I might need it for but like you don't really need it you haven't worn it in like eight months it's just been in your closet taking up space why are you gonna take it from New York to Atlanta so it's nice to have like a purge of your closet it's kind of refreshing yeah, now I need to go home and I actually do have to go and buy a box because I need to mail some stuff so I need to hurry up and do that I'm procrastinating so while I'm standing here talking I'm gonna get to the train and go home don't procrastinate kids procrastination sucks you you're delaying a headache for an even bigger headache later, but it is what it is. But I have a um, phone meeting with my future manager and I don't have good cellular service in my room. So I'm right down the street from Central Park and it's a nice day outside. So I'm about to go sit out in Central Park and talk to this man on FaceTime. Back and continue to pack my room, and then I gotta meet up with my brother Atawi uh, from Nation One Academy. I gotta meet up with him before I go. Just got done with my little phone meeting. Um, that was a really good conversation, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, everything seems like it's coming together how it's supposed to. Right? Yo, this is the big so cool. <laughs> the big boss man right here. No, no, absolutely OT, not. Absolutely not. AKA man. the no, general, no, no, the no. head honcho, the CEO. No, absolutely. El man. Presidente, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> El Presidente. This this is the oh guy that's gonna have me coming back to New York once every month. <laughs> this guy <laughs> just because I gotta work with him. No, he's gonna be missed. Obviously, okay. a lot of people don't know what's going on with this man. This man's been a very pivotal in in in, in the growth of our foundation, Nation One Academy, which is in Liberia. Yeah. We, we always here in New York. Yeah. So you sure. can't just go and leave us here. <laughs> you gotta be. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you and I'm gonna get you and Kima in Atlanta. So, yeah, yeah, uh -oh. absolutely, absolutely. Kima, you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna post a link to Nation One so y'all can see what what we've been working on, what right. he's been working on, but I've, what I've been able to help him with a little yes. bit over the past two yeah, some absolutely. odd years, yeah, and what well, we gonna keep we're moving the for uh, to the future in. Yo, but this is how Christina lets me into her apartment. Hey, I am ready. I am gonna catch it. Um, that would be nice.
So the whole idea behind this is giving people in my life, my loved ones and just people that have had any type of impact on me, giving them their flowers while they can smell it. You know, not waiting until they're dead to say all the nice things about them. It's uh, I'm just gonna hit them up with a surprise call. I wrote out a page worth of great things about what they mean to me, and then I'm gonna read it to them. That's it, just showing love, that's all. Love is the way. So that's what we're doing. Today, I'm gonna be giving flowers to my big sister, Dr. Sonda Matar, DPM. You gotta say the whole thing. She did all these years of school and for you to say the whole thing. Don't just call her Sondama. Don't just call her Mrs. Tar, Dr. Sondama Tar, DPM. So let me jump on this phone and see if I can get a hold of her. Hey. How do you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. You're looking fly over there. Oh, this is one of the rare times I put on makeup. So it was just because I was taking pictures for the gram. I wrote a little letter to you, and I would like to read it to you, okay? Oh, Lord, I'm going to start crying. I know. I, I was tearing up a little bit writing it, so hopefully I won't break down and just start crying like a little biatch. Okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with crying. But anyway, so here we go. You ready? Okay. Okay. Dear Dr. Sondama Tar DPM, mm -hmm. you are my big sister, my first friend, my original role model, and I love you dearly. You have had my back since day one, and I would not be the man that I am today without you. You are kind, you are selfless, and you are dependable. I've seen the way you consistently show up for the people in your life, and it is admirable. I try to always be there to lend a helping hand to my loved ones because I have witnessed you do it time and time again. You are determined and relentless. I remember back when we were kids, you couldn't have been more than maybe six years old. You always said you were going to be a doctor. I honestly don't remember you desiring to be anything else. And now, 25 years later, through all the ups and downs, the rocky roads, the uncertainty, you stayed the course, stayed focused, and manifested the vision. You are powerful. This has taught me that if you have a clear vision, all you have to do is stay the course and continue stepping forward with faith. It will undoubtedly happen for you. It might not happen in a week. It might take a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. It doesn't matter. As long as you remain unrelenting, you will reach your final destination. It has been a tough act to follow being your baby brother. Whenever I come up, whenever I come across anyone that has ever known you, they expect me to be brilliant like you and kind and well-mannered. Trying, trying to fill your large shoes and fit into the mold that you have left for me is the level of accountability is the level of accountability I have always needed to propel me to the level of greatness that I know is mine. The adversity that you have faced in life is nothing more than a notch on your belt of experiences because you have not allowed it to stop anything that you have going on. You are unbreakable. The only force in this universe that is powerful enough to stop you is yourself. You are divine. You are the golden child. You make the tar name worth something. You are a queen. You are a god. I adore you. And I'm lucky to have you as my sister. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. I'm over here crying too, actually. Well, thank you. That was tough to. That was difficult. As I was writing it, my eyes was watering. I was like, ooh, this is a good one right here. Well, thank you. It's good, you know. I always knew you felt that way, but, you know, it's just good to, to hear it, you know. Yeah. Out loud, but, yeah. Well, it is appreciated. Thank you so much. That made my life, really. So, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad. You are, I would say besides mommy, you are the one person, and really you, even sometimes before mommy. <laughs> Love you, mommy, but you are the one person I think that really, really holds me accountable. That holds my hand to the fire. So, you know, I love you, and I appreciate you, and I got you. I always got you. So. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad I was able to make you cry. I appreciate that. <laughs> I always stay seated until like the last 
possible second to get on the flight. I just don't see the purpose of standing in line for a long time. Bad knees, bad ankle, I don't be trying to be on my feet. So I just be sitting back chilling until last call for boarding. Now I come on like a VIP. That's the real first class right there. When you get on the plane, like that's the plane waited for me to take off while y'all was sitting here on the plane. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fast and the door. So, touchdown in Atlanta. If I take that bag, it's mine. Stop it. Yes. I love this bag. It's my favorite bag that she won't give to me. Even though she deboed my Nike bag back in the day, I, I feel like you gonna pay what you owe, Santa. What? Let me take this jacket off. I am. I mean, all of us, but also me. I like this ensemble. She thinks. And the lip and everything. Thank you. Okay. Spring time. Got it. Okay. Spring look. Yep. Yes. It is yeah. Spring so look. we over here yes. in uh, the cab on Memorial Drive at my brother Jacob's uh, dad's restaurant. Yes. And um, yeah, we're about to go in and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. I should have. Like strobe lights in there. Good, bro. What's going on, my man? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Whoa. Here, hold on, let me catch up to you. Okay. Oh, 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 hi. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a uh, Jacob's uh, rehearsal yes. dinner party yes. that I didn't film much of because I hadn't seen people in like 10 years, so I had to actually be social and stuff like that. Yes. Um, and I couldn't put a camera in people's faces. No. They're like, hey, hey, it's me. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. It was awesome fun. It was a lot of fun. The food was tasty. Great seeing people. Um, but we've had a long day of traveling and a long couple of days of packing. Yes. So they're going to keep partying and we're going to go home. Absolutely. And I'm going to edit this vlog. And she's going to sleep. Definitely sleep. Okay. Catch up. Anyway, let's get in the car and listen to more Beyonce on our way home. Yes. I knew yes. you'd like that. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. I know you forgot. Oh, gosh. It's been a while. I know. It's been a while. Don't touch no door handles around me. What the hell wrong with you? Actually, I let you do it when we was at the apartment too, though. So I had forgot myself. <laughs> You're slipping. I'm slipping, but it's been a minute. We coming back. <laughs> 